What started as a simple service project for a local 13 year old has ballooned into something extraordinary. We meet a family who learned firsthand how caring can impact thousands. If they don't have a pair of shoes, they don't get to go to school for the children. If they don't go to school, they don't get a meal. If they don't get a meal, you never know what might happen to them. When a 7.0 earthquake hit Haiti in 2010, one call for help was for shoes. 13-year-old Claire Frances Baker wanted to help. I thought that 250 pair was a good range of gold. That's Claire Frances nine years ago, describing the start of a journey that's literally gone around the world. And was initially told, no, this wasn't going to be a big enough service project to start as a 13-year-old. But mom Pam says it wasn't long before that 250 turned into 2,500, then 5,000. And now a 53 foot semi will hold approximately 25,000 pairs of shoes. The bakers ought to know they filled 17 of them. 425,000 pair. So our goal this year is to hit a half million. 250 to 500,000. The family paired up with nonprofit Souls for Souls to distribute the shoes where they're needed the most. Haiti, Africa, and even here in the U.S. This is the ripple effect of one kid at 22 has touched nearly a million people. Claire Francis is off to college now. Her family is more than happy to pick up where she left off. Putting shoes from one box to another box to be placed up there to be moved to another trailer. They were never looking for any kind of reward, which made it all the more surprising when ABC's oh, vacation, yeah. creation vacation Creation took notice. We are off to New Zealand! And sent the whole family on the trip of a lifetime. And while they had a blast, it's the timing of the show that struck them the most. Saturday when this show airs is actually the nine year anniversary of the earthquake that hit Haiti that catapulted our family into this collection to begin with. And the family isn't taking a break. This Sunday, they will be accepting more donations to fill the last few feet of that trailer space between 3.30 and 4.30 at Shire Brothers Lumber in Brooklyn Park.